Hello, hi Vader. So we are on our way back home from the outlet. Says what? Hello, hi, hi, hi. I'm driving. We're driving home back from the outlet, and we got there at 4:45. They it was we didn't have good um, connection in there, so that's why our lives were just all over the place, so we just quit doing the live and just recorded um, some videos in there, and um, I may or may not have picked up a few things, may or may not, he did, he both did, may or may not have picked up a few things, and I'm be saying, Paulie, what did you get? She, yeah, she did. We may or may not picked up a few things. Uh, it was... I'm going to be honest, it was a bit overwhelming. Sharon and I were the only two people in there. Yeah. And it was a bit overwhelming because she shared me and I was recording. And then I stopped and I stood at one counter and just started looking around. And Sharon said to me, what's the matter? Are you overwhelmed? They said, yes. I'm I'm overwhelmed. It was a sea of color, a sea of bags, and just both of us in the store. And I gotta say, yes, I was I was overwhelmed. I'm, I I can't lie. I was overwhelmed. So what I did, I just stood there, took it all in, and at the end, I. Thought, I'm not going to get anything because when I'm like that, I do either one of two things. Look, I scan to see want, and if I don't, I just walk out because, again, I felt overwhelmed. So, um, the, what, what was the lady saying? Teresa is the lady in, in the store. She said, well, what were you looking for? I said, well, I do love the uh, zip zip silhouette, you know, the dome silhouette. I do love that. And she said, did you see, well, did you see the new one with the pocket on the outside? I looked at her and said, a new one? She said, yes, I like this one. It's a new one. There it is at the top. I said, well, let's take a look. And I looked at her and I said, so. So then I, I picked up some wallets. I picked some wallets for the for the guys because I promised the gents that I would be reviewing wallets on my channel. I would be inclusive. So that's what I was doing. So I picked up some wallets and um, a few other things, which I will share with you soon. But we she had a good time. Up a bag that I was eyeing, and that was the only color. Um, that one they had left, and but I have the Naomi bag, and I haven't received that yet. But I didn't want to buy another blue bag, so I had to buy something the color. But you'll see it, Trisha Review. Beautiful, it's just lovely. We can't, I'm driving, so I can't see what you guys are saying. And Sharon is holding the um, uh, the camera for me. Uh, okay. Can you look on yours and see what they're saying? But it was it was fun. Um, as usual, the Newmans are always late. We decided that we were going to leave. I was saying this on Sharon's live earlier that we decided. I said to Sharon, "So we leave since they're open at eleven. We'll leave here about ten thirty, and then we'll have all day to be in the store." Nope. 
but Sharon got to me by 2.30, I think, and we didn't leave until 3.30. But I drove like a bat on the hill, and I got there at exactly one hour and 30 minutes, so 4.45. 4.45, uh, we got there, so we spent an hour and 15 minutes in the store. We left at exactly five minutes. Sharon was saying to me, the lady wants to go. I said, it's, she's got five more minutes. They closed at six. Yeah, she sure did. She has five more minutes. The lady was like, um, my husband is at home waiting for me to come home because he cooked me dinner. And I'm like, Polly, it's... She had five more minutes. It's 5.49. Or 6.49. It was 4, 5, 5.30 first she told me. I said, she has 30, she has 30 minutes. And then again, at 10 to 6, she told me again. I said, she has 10 more minutes. They closed at 6. But in the end, she was really grateful because we bought things. Yeah. So she was really grateful. Yeah. My cool said, go home and stop by to show my support to your child. Hello, Michael. And smash that like button, great girl. Yes. You're doing well today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming. Don't forget, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, everybody, Hi, Sadwat. Uh, Johnson. Hi, Deep Beverly. Hi, Deep Blair. Hi, Gator. Hi, Sarah May. Hi, Sabrina. Poetic. Hi, Poetic Kels. Hi, Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, uh, Harry. Hi, Lisa. Lisa. And Will World Media. Hello, Will. Jen Sabo. Hello, Jen. And uh, Joss Cleo. Hello, Joss. And Kathy Creative Life. Hello, Kathy. Hi, how are you? We Hello, Diane with Sanity. How are you? And Kathy May, I just think Kathy. Hi, Bruiser. Hello. Mama Jones. Hello, Mama Jones. So, what Sharon and I were doing. And only Claire Jones. Hi, only Claire Jones. What we were doing is singing while we were while we were driving along because we can't play music. You're not ready to sing. Um. We can't play music, so we were singing all the way there on Sharon's channel, on Sharon's on Sharon's live. It's on her channel, it's already uploaded. So on our way there, we were singing. So I thought we have about 90 miles. We're 13 miles outside of West Palm, so we have at least maybe 78 miles to go before we get home to Fort Lauderdale. So we were just thinking we'll say hello and chat and sing. I know a lot of you did possibly know that I can sing, but Sharon as well can sing. So I thought I, we would sing for you while we're, draw, when we're driving home and, um, and, and we're going to, I have to stop off to get some gas or we're going to eat. Yeah, we possibly eat. Possibly, I wanted to go to Fort Lauderdale Beach, but right now it's possibly just too crowded. Too crowded right now, and we're not in the mood. After retail therapy, what we like to do is to find a restaurant. Coach, no, because we didn't have time. We didn't have time, Vader, they but were closed. They were closing. but the thing is, um, tomorrow there is a coach outlet um, in Sunrise, which is where Sharon lives, Sawgrass. Sawgrass Mall. So there's an outlet there. So Sharon and I are going to go there tomorrow. Yankees Outdoors, hi, everyone. Hello, Yankee Outdoors. How are you? So that's what we're we're going to do. We're going to get some petrol, and then we're going to um, grab a bus. And I thought, as I said, we can't play music, but I can sing for you. I can sing you one of my original songs. 
while we're driving home. Thank you, Yankee. I'm sure that everybody can watch that. Yes, please. Thank you, Yankee. So, <clears throat> here goes. Every day I hear myself asking you the same thing over again. I don't know if I can go on this way As each day passes I tell myself This will be the last time But I keep hearing the end The same thing again Can you spend some time with me? Is it too much I'm asking for? I feel I'm last on your list All things to do If you take the time you see That it's you that I need can you spend some time with me? Every time I ask the question, I hear the same reply all over again. I'm sorry, baby, I lost track of the time. I promise I'll make it up to you. We will do whatever you want. But when will you have time to make Can you spend some time with me? Is it too much I'm asking for? I feel I'm last on your list of people. If you take the time you see that it's you that I need, can you spend some time with me? What did I do? To make me seem invisible to you. What more can I do to make you look at me again? I think I've done everything that I can do to make you see me. Baby, all I need is some time with you. Can you spend some time with me? Is it too much I'm asking for? I feel I'm last on your list of things to do. If you take the time you see, that it's you that I need. Can you spend some time with me? Can you spend some time with me? So that is my song that I, it's reconnected, don't do anything, it's reconnected, I, that's one of my own compositions, I, I wrote that song, okay, you both have fun, she asked me to 
No. No, I didn't clean them out, Vader. And Lisa, your alarm said, um, may I turn you in and voice you Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, Hello, hi. Hi, sweet Savory. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. Mike? Hello, China. Oh, no, we are in uh, West Palm Beach at the moment. We're heading home. We are coming from Avira Beach, Florida. We were at uh, Dunenberg Outlet, and now we're headed back home. Hi, Heartstring. Happy Sunday. And Ripon, Lips 57 said hi. Hi. Sharon is reading me everything that you guys are saying. Jenny Aponte. Hi, Jenny. Said hi. Hello. Andy Hello, Haley. Uh, Alex Lopez. Uh, Freckwish. Hello, Alex. Uh, Freckwish. Hello. Jesse Dipon. Hello, Jeffy. Uh, Hello, uh, Geek Girl Fine. Hello, Geek Girl Fine. Let's Pop UK. Hello, Let's Pop UK. Frankie, Victor. Hello, Frankie. Dana, Mark. Hi, Dana. Jenny O'Brien. Hello, Jenny. Franco Preacher. Franco Preacher, hello. Mario. Hello, Mario. Hello, Mario. The Red Knight Connection. Hello, Red Knight Connection. Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Rachel Harris. Hello, Rachel. So let me just show you where we're headed. Mr. Hello, Mr. Pecker Turtle. He said, yeah, I can say who is with you in the chat. That's my sister, Sharon. Yeah, that's me. Hi, Sharon. And to show you. Yeah. And, uh, Maria with Hello, Maria. Dining with Vanity. Hi, Dining with Vanity. Uh, Funk and Nerd start. Hello, Funk and Nerd start. Okay, so we have. Um, uh, Teresa said, Oh, thank you. It's, um, it's Key Australia. Hello, okay. Power of God. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're on our way home from um, a road trip, my sister and I, Sharon. My sister Sharon, we, we took a road trip. And so we're going back home now. And to keep her sanity, because we haven't eaten anything all day. So to keep our sanity, we're singing and just enjoying, enjoying the view. And decided to go live and chat with you. Um, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna stop um, because I need petrol, so we're going to stop. 
were thinking of going to Grand Club. Yeah, she but was the company cheesecake factory. But we have to get gas first because I'm on E, and I think we have about forty miles left to go. So we'll stop at the next truck stop or rest area. Show them the shirt. This is beautiful West Palm Beach. So how is everyone doing? That's late. Do you see yours? Delayed. Okay. I know that it's it's delayed because I have. Oh, Vader, you have to get something to eat. Karen, hi, Karen. Excuse me. Hello, Mr. Wise. Welcome. Thank you. So we have uh, 30 more miles to go before we get to back to Fort Lauderdale. We're passing through West Palm Beach now. And then uh, we've got to have, make a pit stop. Get some petrol, and then we go home. Then we go in and have a bite to eat. We don't know where we're going yet. I say on the beach, but it's probably too crowded on a Sunday evening anyway, so we're probably just going to go. Yes, ma'am. Yes, we are. Yeah, we're going to get, after retail therapy, you you have to, the only thing that's left is adult beverage. Yes. An adult beverage. We have to get adult beverage. And Total Wine is probably closed this Sunday. Okay. Yeah, probably, Total Wine is probably closed already. So, let's pick up some beverages. So, how is everyone's uh, Sunday night? What are you guys doing? Um, oh, okay, okay, Yankee. I'll try and join yours, Yankee. I'll get off and, and join yours. Would you I'm having some after my own heart. You have enough for us, Um, Mr. White said I'm at work. Oh, how lovely. Thank you for tuning in. are just enjoying enjoying the ride. Um, I love road trips when when you have really good company because you said you don't think about how long it is. It was, it was 118 miles. So it took me an hour and a half, exactly an hour and a half. If I was driving by myself, it would seem like, "Oh god." But because I had my sister with me and we were singing it, it made it more fun. Just that sounds like the perfect day and shopping this dinner and wine. Yes. Dinner in a glass of adult beverage. And then you would go home and we snuggle up. Or as Michael Fire would say, and then we watch a Hallmark Christmas movie. Yeah. <laughs> that is Back. Let me just show you how um, Justin, gorgeous. Why are you concerned for dinner? I don't, you know, I don't know. 
I don't know what... We said trans luck. Yeah, I don't know what I would like at the moment. Probably something with, um, probably seafood. Yeah, shrimp, lobster. Something, yeah, something seafood. Lobster, shrimp, and lobster. I was thinking of rustic in, but that's just too far. Too far. So it's too far, and I'm not in the mood to fight with the crabs tonight. So maybe, so we're just going to stop off in Boca, in Boca Raton, we'll stop off in Boca Raton and have um, either a Capitol Grill or Cheesecake Factory or Grand Block. Um, so we'll, we'll stop there. That's, that's what we're going to do. And possibly take you along. Yes. Can't wait. I'll tell you this, do not shop. Never shop on a hungry stomach. No, you you're you're miserable, you can't make decisions, you won't have a good time. And don't go at least one hour before they close as well. So don't be don't go in hungry, hungry, because you're going to be hangry, and then you're going to be in a mood, you, you just want to rush and get out, that's, that's what happened to me, so make sure your stomach is full before you go shopping. No, better be, because we are, my husband lost my birthday, me and my friend treated me. Oh, that's I, I generally, I, some, when I'm off sometimes, I treat myself out full by myself and sit down and have long cheering. Yeah. This this is that ladies, there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with taking yourself out. Nope. You should take care of yourself. I take myself to on a date. And seriously, when I tell you, I, I, I really perform the ritual of being on a date. I go on a date with myself all the time. I get dressed up, I go into a restaurant, and I don't ask for a seat in the back where people can't see me. I want to be right stark in the middle for whatever they have available because you shouldn't be ashamed to be eating alone. There's nothing wrong with it. Absolutely. I have no problem walking to a restaurant and have dinner by myself. You should be able to do that and enjoy time with yourself. But the thing is, we always, as strong women, we generally look after other people. We generally um, put people first. And put others first. And put ourselves and first. And then we put ourselves last. And what I have to say, what I have that when you put yourself back, that means you are putting God down. Put yourself first when you are with God. And that is true. So true. I'm selfish with myself. She said it's not selfish, it's selfful. So whatever is in that cup is belongs to you. Whatever run it over, run it over is for everybody else. Which is absolutely true. Which is absolutely true. We're passing Boyd Beach. Levain. Hi, Levain. Hello. Welcome, welcome. I'm starving. Really, to be starving right now. It's such a great treat. I'll never, I'll never do it without not having to we should never ever do that. Do that, and you know what? You did it as well. Sandra said hi. Hi, Sandra. How are you? I love the grapes. the grapes. We are. We're now in Boynton Beach. 
which means we have maybe another 30 minutes before we, we, we get home to Fort, Fort Lauderdale. Yes, we have another 30 minutes before we, we get home. So um, I have enough petrol to keep us home. And then we can go to possibly find a restaurant. So what's everyone doing? We get our uh, we get our usual. Where is everybody going? Why is it so all of a sudden so busy? I hope they're not going to the game. The dolphins played already, didn't they? Didn't the dolphins play at three? Someone's sure hating that gets that just gets to be what stays in the Seahawks. The what? Seattle Seahawks. Oh, what about them? No, she's saying that uh, what what stays what stadium? What stadium is the Seahawks? Washington. Yes, Washington. Um, but the Dolphins played. Did the Dolphins play today? I don't know because in the play for a lot of people. What time is it now? Seven twenty-four. The next game is at eight. Okay, they're probably going to the game. I haven't. I didn't get a a uh, notification of the Chiefs, so I don't know if. It's did the chief, can somebody tell us? Hello, Chrissy. Hi, Chrissy W. If someone could check and let me know if the Dolphins played and if they lost. See, I don't care if they win. I live in Florida, but I'm not a Dolphin. Um, and if you could find out if the Chiefs won. I need to know if the Dolphins lost and the Chiefs won. Why do you like the Chiefs? Who asked that question? No, I'm just asking. Oh. The Dolphins won. Oh, great. Thank you. That's what Chris Dolphins won. Why do you like the Chiefs? I used to like um, Christian Okoye. Oh, yeah. The Nigerian Nightmare was, oh, my God, he was just so good. At that time, when I fell in love with the Chiefs, we were living in Maryland, and we were just automatic Redskins fans. Yeah. But then I saw the Chiefs play the Redskins, and I saw the Nigerian Nightmare, uh, Christian Okoye, and I switched sides immediately. He was so good. And even though I live in Florida, I'm not a fan of the Dolphins. Three one, two. Yes. Three and O. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, um, even though we live in Florida, we're not Dolphins. It's a beautiful night. You know what it is? Mm-hmm. It's on. Oh, okay. You, oh, you want me to turn it off? Oh, okay. I thought you were hot. <laughs> oh, wow. It's like downtown. This should give you just a glimpse. West Palm Beach. This is Boynton Beach. We'll be coming up on Boca in a few minutes. Boca Raton, Florida. We'll be coming up on that in a few minutes.
I know it keeps saying reconnecting. Hello. Mrs. Chris World, hello, how are you? I'm sorry, just keep saying uh, it keeps saying reconnecting and it's buffering, I'm sorry.